we are going to discuss about another new topic in your 10th class what is that first of all we will discuss about the flow chart of human digestive system and then we will discuss about health aspects of the elementary canal health aspects of the elementary canal first come to the main topic flow chart of human digestive system how food travel in our elementary canal first we take the food into our mouth food enters into the mouth then to the buccal cavity from bu buccal cavity to the pharynx pharynx to the esophagus and then from esophagus to stomach it reaches stomach to duodenum the starting part of the small intestine is called as duodenum the beginning part and it is associated with two glands what are that liver and pancreas and this duodenum enters it is the part of small intestine starting part then small intestine this small intestine have connection with large intestine later to the rectum the large intestine connected with rectum finally rectum reaches the anus like this the food flows in our elementary canal here through the anus we expel the undigested food what we explained in the previous class okay what i explained in the previous class how digestion takes place in human beings like this in this pathway digestion takes place in humans okay what are the different health aspects we generally find in elementary canal of humans okay if we talk about that uh, our elementary canal is one of the best organ in our body it works in a nice manner without a single remark but if we are not taking care about our body it also leads to some health aspects bad and serious health issues we have to face if we are not taking care about our elementary canal in a proper manner sometimes though we are taking a lot of uh, health tips and we are very uh, health conscious also sometimes we may get vomiting without knowing sometimes we may we may eat the spoiled food which is not giving any bad smell though it is not giving bad smell sometimes it may be spoiled by eating such kind of food sometimes it leads to vomiting vomiting uh, is also useful to our body sometimes uh, if uh, the food which is spoiled enters into our body in order to save our elementary canal it just expels out the food which is not uh, useful to our body and which is uh, harmful such kind of food may expel out in a reverse manner in a reverse manner to the mouth that process is called as vomiting by this vomiting we may get rid of harmful materials from our stomach okay and what are the causes of these health aspects the people who are taking food more and more more which is called as overeating we have to take food which is uh, sufficient to our body not more and more if we take uh, more amount of food overeating also cause lot of uh, um, health issues to our elementary canal okay and also high proportions of fat some people have interest to take only oily foods the food which is containing more amount of fats it is also not safe for our elementary canal our digestive system okay that's why we have to avoid taking more amounts of fats into our body we have to take only in an adequate manner okay um, sometimes some people they may take a uh, indigestible food sometimes some of the people they may take the food which is a uh, very healthy but some people it may become allergic some people are allergic to um, snake god some people are may allergic uh, um, allergic to certain kinds of a specific variety of food if they take such kind of food if they consume such kind of food they have to face 
allergy on their body within few minutes by after consuming that food okay and also uh, without knowing sometimes we may take uh, more amount of uh, uh, poisonous food into our body in the form of cool drinks also it acts like a slow poison okay the slow poison it won't show any effect immediately but slowly gradually it spoils our health that's why we have to avoid the poisonous foods like junk foods if we avoid then we keep our alimentary canal in a healthy manner whenever you avoid the junk food it is very um, useful to live for a long time okay and sometimes the people who are getting greenish vomiting that greenish vomiting is called as bilious sometimes this bilious is also called as liverish okay most of the people um, under the age of 15 years they may get greenish vomiting means uh, without knowing they may eat uh, different varieties of food without uh, um, limits they may eat at that time our liver unable to uh, divide the toxic materials into less toxic form that time we may get greenish vomiting okay that greenish vomiting is called as bilious or a liverish okay if you want to get rid of this we have to take only healthy food and certain times the people most of the people they don't know about the healthy habits to keep our elementary canal in a uh, healthy manner we have to follow certain rules what are that certain rules we will discuss now okay see here once elementary canal if you want to keep your elementary canal healthy you have to follow all these rules what are that rules simple we have to take only simple and well balanced diet our diet should be very simple and it should have all the nutrients in it the balanced diet simple and balanced diet we people have to consume the food what we are taking it should have all varieties of nutrients in it but it should be simple not very rich okay later we have to take the food in a leisurely manner not in a hurry manner we have to take the food in a leisurely manner then only all the nutrients present in the food may absorbed by our absorbed by our body in a proper manner later we have to follow the best important uh, method everyone have to follow that is thoroughly masticating we have to masticate our food in a thoroughly manner what is mastication i already told you in the previous class chewing grinding tearing the food in a proper manner we have to chew and grind the food for a long time in our mouth and we should not eat the food in a hurry manner if we eat like that we won't follow the mastication in a proper manner it leads to lot of health aspects of elementary canal okay later uh, some people um, most of the people doctors are telling that we have to do exercises when we have to do the exercises there is a particular time to do exercise and to look slim there are some particular timings but some people after taking the lunch if they have more time they may do violent exercises they will do strenuous exercises which are very hard to do if we do such kind of exercises whenever after the meal where after finishing your meal if you do the exercises it leads to vomiting that's why after taking your meal you should not do violent exercises it is very very important okay later it is also very very important tip which keeps our elementary canal to be safe from many diseases that is taking plenty of water every day we have to take plenty of water it just give a regular bowel movement in our body 
means uh, it may expels the waste material which is present in the large intestine and digestible part of our body will be expelled if we take plenty of water along with this here we also have to add proper amount of uh, fiber substances drappages if you take more amount of drappages include in your diet may also keep your elementary canal in a healthy manner okay and the people who are taking the food in hurry manner who are very busy and who are always uh, suffer from stress such kind of people also get some burning sensation in the stomach it is also indicate that in the stomach and duodenal part of the small intestine it may get ulcers okay uh, peptic ulcers stomach ulcers esophagus ulcers we may find because of taking food uh, not in regular time period gap we people have to take the food with regular intervals of time but some people because of their uh, busy schedule they won't take at proper intervals of uh, time they won't take the food it leads to many health aspects of the elementary canal that's why we have we should follow some of these not some of these uh, all these steps to keep our elementary canal to be healthy and the people who are uh, not having time to take food they should be people living to take food is it right that's why everyone have to take food in a leisurely manner and we have to masticate the food in a proper manner and we have to lead our life with the less stress okay no one uh, now in a day students also getting stress why because of the educational um, system you people because of the examinations you may feel stress we should not live in the stress we should be avoid the stress and we have to live like a healthy person by following all these important points of our life if you know all these if we are following all these then we should become definitely we should become a healthy human being that is to, this is today's class that is about health aspects of the elementary canal